What's going on guys? This is M. Alexander Brown, AKA Conscience. And I wanted to just talk with you guys a little bit today about my new album, REM, which is in stores everywhere since March 13th. Um, we've had an incredible amount of feedback and people and hands involved in the process of making this work. And uh, it's, it's proven to just be a really sweet time right now for the release because a lot of people are just kind of tapping in and they're really touched by what we've been able to accomplish with this project. Now, a lot of you guys know this already, but I work a full-time job. I have a two and a half year old son, as well as uh, I'm, I'm married to my beautiful wife, Allie. And so my day is mostly taken up by work and just life. And so uh, I like to carve intentional time away to chip away at my artistry, ministry, um, and just a time to unwind. And so that time for me has been for like the last year now, 9 p.m. to around midnight to 1 a.m. And so a lot of people used to say when this album came out, you know, is, is, is the song auto as well as the uh, musical backdrop and flavor of this album have anything to do with the fact that you've been driving around at night? And you know, I didn't really think too much of it in the moment, but I think it's kind of true. Like, um, you know, I, I unwind, I listen to mixes, I listen to my own music, I scour the earth for beats. And so I'm just listening through a lot of music and I think what I connect with at night is the emotional energy of just being able to unwind and unpack my mind. And so a lot of the things that kind of get tucked away during the day kind of surface uh, in the nighttime uh, to kind of think through. And so I'm thinking about faith. I'm thinking about my job and where that's going. I'm thinking about my family and where I'm at as a father and a husband. You know, where does God have me? And am I being intentional with that time? Am I putting the right things into perspective in terms of prioritizing and handling the things that I need to be handling? Uh, you know, it, it means nothing if, if my home and my uh, spiritual life and thermostat uh, isn't uh, reflected at the at equal of or more uh, value in my music. And so I think that that does make sense. You know, when you listen to songs like Auto, where I'm talking about a, a car journey and you listen to the emotional energy that comes with a lot of the records, it's very passionate, it's very dark and textured. Um, I think these things do come into play, you know, with these night drives. Um, it's very quiet outside. You kind of have this, um, lifelong perspective where you're just trying to examine yourself constantly and I'm crying out to God and I'm in prayer and I'm listening to God's word. Um, and, and I think that coded the album with a type of perspective of pain and endurance and appreciation, which are all things that regularly go through my mind at night when I'm unwinding. And so as you guys listen to this album, you know, it's coming from a place of, you know, when I begin my work at night, I'm oftentimes already on E in terms of my energy and uh, I'm, I'm dissecting and unraveling and examining uh, where my thermostat is at the end of the long day. So I think that's where you get a lot of the energy and movement in the records and the pain is that's a very expressive time because you don't normally get to dive into that stuff at all during the day. So I really hope you guys get a lot of uh, value from listening to this project and connect with it in the practical sense that that's where I was in my life. And so I'm unpacking a lot of the uh, profound things that um, you typically need some quiet time to wrestle with and putting that into my song and really hoping that people can connect with, you know, the journey of, um, you know, as I walk through the tracks in my mind of worship and praise to God, despite uh, what the circumstances hold, growing in a knowledge of God and coming to a place of spiritual maturity, um, having ambitions and desires, but not letting that become an idol above God, um, walking your faith out. And as other people look at that, um, wanting to endure in that in a unique way that demonstrates like quality and authenticity and honesty. Um, you know, humility and, 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 and slowing, being slow to anger uh, with things that are inconvenient to your comfort. Um, you know, traveling and, and learning new experiences, getting outside of your bubble. I think about a song like Maui, where it took, you know, three years after my marriage to save up the funds to have uh, a really cool experience out of the country. And that just completely shaped my perspective of how big God is 
and how fortunate I am to be able to do things like that. And so, um, yeah, man, that's just me kind of spitballing a lot of the things going on through my head. Again, I want your album experience to be very rich. I want you to take away from it what you do. But at the same time, I feel like having the perspective of the artists who made the work can further inform and enrich your experience as you're listening to the album. Um, lastly, I just wanted to say, you know, first and foremost, my desire is that those who believe in God would have a deeper experience, a more honest and authentic uh, experience when you approach God on a daily basis. Uh, people who don't know God, I, I want to introduce you to seeing what a life looks like with Christ and seeing what I go through and uh, and just um, basking in the glory and the weight and the goodness of who God is uh, through looking at what he's done in his son, as well as just seeing his attributes uh, demonstrated and talked about in the word of God, aka the Bible. So Hope you guys have an awesome experience. Again, you can catch the album anywhere uh, on all platforms or you could go to conscienceHipHop.com. But thank you guys so much for tapping in. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, they're always appreciated. Thanks, guys.